hi all my bankers friend and all the professionals working in the area of import export business i have been getting lot of queries about cdcs exam cdcs means certified documentary credit specialist yes what is this cdcs what is the fee structure how is the course curriculum how to get into that and what is the benefit of doing or completion of cdcs exam so i thought let me prepare a video on cdcs exam but before i start my presentation let me introduce myself first i am isaac to do basically i am an ex banker with state bank of india and icici bank i am having more than 25 years of banking experience in trade finance and credit so this is brief about me so let us go into our presentation so in today's presentation we will cover what is cdcs that is certified documentary credit specialist why cdcs objective of cdcs cdcs benefit for you cdcs exam syllabus cdcs exam study materials cdcs exam format cdcs exam fees and 10 tips to clear the cdcs exam so let us start with what is cdcs cdcs means certified documentary credit specialist it is an international certificate in documentary credit documentary credit means letters of credit that is lc so we will use this word documentary credit in this presentation instead of lc cdcs is the professional certification which will enable documentary credit practitioners to prove their specialist knowledge and application of the skills required for competent practice in a global scale in order to get the cdcs title participants must pass an examination which takes 3 hours and 15 minutes cdcs certificate examination is organized by the london institute of banking and finance yes the london institute of banking and finance and baft the bankers association for finance and trade jointly developed the cdcs certification program cdcs is also endorsed by the international chamber of commerce yes it is the only certificate which is approved by icc on documentary credit field yes banks prefer cdcs entitled practitioners for their trade department in order to reduce their own risk by working with professionals who has proved their competence from the institution that is creator and governor of the documentary credit rules so why cdcs as a trade finance professional you understand the importance of documentary credits and the need to ensure that all parties are there to the international guidelines cdcs will improve your knowledge and understanding of the complex issues associated with documentary credit best practice you will learn to understand documentary credits the products parties processes and rules that underpin documentary credit transactions you will learn to identify documentary credit risks breaches and irregularities manage documentary credit transactions you will learn to apply knowledge of processes icc rules and trade terms so cdcs is a professional qualification recognized worldwide as the benchmark of competence for international practitioners it was primarily designed for the participants with at least 3 years experience working with documentary credits its purpose is to enable documentary credit practitioners to demonstrate practical knowledge and understanding of the complex issues associated with documentary credit practice cdcs develops the knowledge and skills required to accurately check documents and manage documentary credit transactions so what is the objective of cdcs the cdcs will enable you as a documentary credit practitioners to gain a practical knowledge and understanding of the complex issues associated with documentary credit practice so what is the benefit for you you can qualify this prestigious certification in 6 months time period study online anytime anywhere on any device you can appear in cdcs exam as per your comfort and preparation level you can demonstrate your expertise with an internationally recognized qualification achieving cdcs allows you to aid the professional designation cdcs after your name improving your career and promotion prospects this is very important 
Yes, the benefits of continuing professional development include the following. It enables you to demonstrate a level of expertise in documentary credits recognized worldwide. It improves your knowledge and understanding of the complex issues associated with documentary credit best practice. It helps you develop the skills needed to apply your knowledge in the workplace and maximize your performance. It helps you to learn how to comply with regulatory requirements. It fosters innovation in customer service and improves your customer relationships. So what is the criteria or eligibility criteria for CDCS exam? There are no entry requirements for the CDCS exam. Anyone who pays the examination fees can appear for the exam. However, please keep in mind that it is not easy to pass the CDCS exam. You should prepare well for the exam. Examination takes place in English language only. Time constant is one of the biggest problem on the examination, especially for the non-native English speakers. The LIBF, that is London Institute of Banking and Finance, recommends to the exam participants have a minimum of three years documentary credit experience for their own benefit. So what are the syllabus for CDCS exam? The types, characteristics and use of documentary credits and standby letters of credit, rules and trade terms, including UCP 600, EUCP, ISVP 745, ISP 98, INCO terms 2020 and URR 725, parties to documentary credit transactions and their roles and obligations, types and methods of payments and credit used in documentary credit transactions, including the concept of autonomy, types of transport, commercial and financial documents used in documentary credit transactions, related products, including letters of indemnity, airway releases and steamship guarantees, the implications of breaching rules, including money laundering and terrorist financing. So how can we get the study material for CDCS exam? CDCS is an online qualification available on demand through LIBF VLE platform, Brightspace, which you will be able to access through your own personal My LIBF account. Everything is online. So you can study anytime, anywhere on any device and fit your learning around your work and life commitments. When to apply? Registrations are open all year round. You can apply any day, any time. Average time to complete? Yes, it is six months. Study type? This qualification is on demand. Everything is online and you can study at a pace that suits you. When you register for CDCS, you will also have access to the unit syllabus. You will have the entire syllabus with you. The student uh, handbook. Yes, physical copy as well as soft copy will be provided to you. A specimen paper, exam simulation exercises, e-quiz and a student-led forum. Assessment type, three hour and 15 minutes examination with multiple choice questions and document checking exercises. Assessment provider, you can book your exam at any designated test center around the world. So what is the examination format for CDCS? The CDCS is a three hour, 15 minutes long exam with a total marks of 100. The 100 marks are divided into two parts as given below. Part A, 60 marks. Part B, 40 marks. Total 70 multiple choice questions in two sections, part A and part B will be there. So part A will consist of 60 multiple choice questions with one mark each, that is 60 marks. Part B consists of 10 multiple choice questions with one mark each, that is 10 marks. Three simulation exercises with 10 marks is 10 into 3, 30 marks. In these three exercises, you are required to identify five out of 10 listed discrepancies. Two marks are awarded for each correct discrepancies. So two into five into three will be 30. So 60 plus 10 plus 30 will be 100. There is no negative marking in the exam. Overall passing marks is 70%, but there is a catch. What is that catch? But you must score cutoff of 60% in part B, that is minimum of 24, that is 60% of 40 marks in part B in order to clear CDCS exam. 
so at least you need to score minimum of 60% in part b also to get the certificate let us understand this with an example if you have scored 50 that is 83.33% of 60 marks out of 60 in part a and 22 that is 55% of 40 out of 40 in part b your total marks will be 72% out of 100 which is well above the overall passing marks of 70%. But you will not be declared as pass in CDCS exam because your score in part B is below the required cutoff of 60%. You have scored only 55%. Therefore, you should always keep this in mind while preparing for the CDCS exam. You can book your exam at any designated test center around the world and will get your results within 24 hours. So what is the fee for CDCS exam? The registration fee is GBP 595. That will be roughly around 61,000 in rupee terms, which will include study materials and exam fee. Exam receipt fee is GBP 350, which will be roughly around 36,000 in rupee terms. What does receipt fee mean? It means that if you have not been able to clear your CDCS exam in first attempt, and you want to go for the another attempt, you will have to pay this fee, GBP 350. Exam deferral fee is GBP 150, which will be roughly around 15,000 in rupee terms. As can be seen from the above that, all the above charges are on a higher side. My request to all the CDCS participant would be, please have a thorough analysis about yourselves, whether you are mentally and physically prepared for taking this exam or not before registration. You can complete CDCS in six months, but if you need longer, you will still have access to bright space and resources for one year from registration. It will be advisable to all the participants to visit the official website of CDCS before taking any call. Please always review the latest document relating to exam and course fee available through the official website of CDCS exam. It is important because there could be change in the examination fee, there could be change in examination patterns, examination syllabus. So before registration, you must visit the official CDCS site. So here comes 10 tips to clear the CDCS exam. My first tip would be give 100% commitment for CDCS exam. Yes, unless and until you are 100% committed for CDCS exam, it will be very difficult to crack this exam. I know that most of the participants are basically working professionals and there will be time constraint due to duty, but commitment level should be on a very high level. Yes, it is a demanding exam. You need to commit yourself for this exam. Unless you are committed, you will not be able to spare your time for this CDCS exam. So commitment level should be very high. Next tip would be, understand the CDCS syllabus well. Yes, we need to understand all the syllabus, all the topics in detail. What are the topics needs to be covered under CDCS exam? So if you are well through with the syllabus, we'll be able to cover all the topics. Start your preparation early and give attention to the amount of study that is required to clear the CDCS exam. It is critical that we start early and give attention to the amount of study that is required to the clear of CDCS exam. CDCS exam preparation needs time and you need to give this time because this is a level four exam and it demands lot of hard work. So we need to give attention how much amount of study we need to do for this CDCS exam. Read the guide to documentary credits written by Gary Collier at least three times. This is the core book for CDCS, which you will be getting after registration. You will get the hard copy as well as soft copy. You need to read three times this book. First time when you will read, you will not have full grip on the book, but when you read second time, you will definitely have better understanding. And while reading third times, you will have overall entire things with you what does this book say about the documentary credit? So most of the questions will come from this book only. So we need to have a thorough knowledge about this book. 
my next tip would be have complete clarity on the topics documentary credit available by payment defer payment acceptance or negotiation yes this is important topics so we need to have a clear understanding on documentary credit available by payment defer payment acceptance or negotiation next tip would be cover article 14 that is standard for examination of documents and isbp 745 thoroughly next tip would be complete familiarization on transport and insurance documents how these documents are signed who can sign these documents and detail about that next would be focus on money laundering and fraud these are basically regularity issues and never ignore part b practice for simulation exercise we have already covered this that we need to score at least 60% in part b also to get the cdcs certificate so we cannot ignore part b and last tip i would like to give that is always read the question carefully it could be a tricky one yes we need to read the question twice to understand what exactly question demands and accordingly answer let us see one or two example here question number 1 if a credit available with the issuing bank calls for a draft at 60 days after site it is available by acceptance deferred payment negotiation or payment so if we read the question carefully available with the issuing bank so when the credit is available with the issuing bank negotiation will not be there so we can exclude negotiation we need to again read the question calls for a draft the word draft is there so when draft is there deferred payment will not be there so we can exclude deferred payment also we will see again that 60 days after site means site payment is not there so we can exclude payment also the only answer left is option left is acceptance so acceptance will be the answer one more question we will see if a seller country x wishes to receive from a buyer in country y as soon as possible how should the documentary credit best be made available acceptance with the issuing bank in country y acceptance by the nominated bank in country x site payment with the issuing bank in country y site payment with the nominated bank in country y x so question again we read if a seller country x wishes to receive from a buyer in country y as soon as possible the word is as soon as possible how should the documentary credit best the word is best so two critical words are there as soon as possible and best word is there so as soon as possible is only possible when the seller receives the payment from nominated bank because in case of issuing bank documents have to travel to the issuing bank then only issuing bank will be able to take a call so it will take time so that will not be as soon as possible so we find that option second and fourth has the word nominated bank but what is the right answer second or fourth so we need to read the question once again how should the documentary credit best so word best is written so we need to find which one is the best option acceptance or site payment obviously in case of acceptance nominated bank will discount the documents and give the money but they will deduct the charges discounting charges but in case of site payment they will pay the beneficiary upfront without deducting much of charges so best option would be site payment so site payment with the nominated bank in country x will be the answer for this question support for cdcs exam preparation if you want to learn from me or if you want guidance and support for cdcs exam preparation please email me or dm in linkedin messengers details i have given below so this is from my side on cdcs exam and various aspects of cdcs exam i take this opportunity to say good luck to all the participants who are going to take cdcs exam or whoever is planning to take this exam in future if this video has given value to you please like and share this video and also i will request you to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much